Hey everyone, my name is Lucas and in this video we are here in Wirecast and we're going to be going over the three main parts of the Wirecast workflow, capture, produce, and stream. And once you have a good grasp on each one of these sections, you're going to be a live streaming pro in no time. And it really is as simple as understanding these three sections. So the first one, capture. If you want to stream anything, any sort of content to anywhere or anyone, you're going to need something to stream, right? And I'm going to show you how easy it is to bring in some basics into Wirecast. In this case, I'm just going to grab a camera and a microphone and send that out to my viewers. Of course, you can bring in so much more uh, media from the stock media library that's built in, scoreboards if you're streaming sports, uh, pre-recorded video if that's what you're looking for, animated lower thirds, whatever it is you want to build into Wirecast, you can. But in this case, let's just do a microphone and a camera to show you how quick and easy it is. Down here in my layering system, which is where you build your shots, I'm going to click on the top layer and I'm going to bring in my camera. I'm going to click this plus button. From the drop down menu, I'm going to go to video capture and choose one of my cameras that's plugged into my computer. I can use my HD uh, FaceTime or I can use this nice camera that I'm using to record this video and click on it. There I am. I pop up. There's a nice preview and now I can add it. You can see it's popped up here in the layers. It's popped up here in the preview window and it's popped up here in my editing window. If I come over to my shot layers, I can see my camera in here. Now my viewers aren't going to see anything because it's over in live. I haven't started streaming. I haven't started producing anything. I'm still working on the capture in the ingest of my capture sources. So now in the second layer, I want my microphone to come in. So I'll open up that same window by clicking the plus button and choose audio capture. In this case, I'm going to choose my AT2020 USB mic. There it is. You can see it right there. Choose that and add it. And you can automatically see both down here in the layer and over on the side of the preview window, my audio monitor jumping up and down. That means my camera's in here because I can see that. My audio is being heard from my computer. If I really need to get up and streaming as soon as possible, I put these two sources in, send it over to the live window, and click stream, and I'll be streaming to my audience that quickly. So I've captured all of these sources. In this case, only two, but it's super easy. And whether it's a piece of media that you want to pull in, and that would be just coming to um, media files. You can search your library on your computer or maybe the stock media library. I'll open that up and grab another piece of media. I've been digging this light underwater. It's a very simple, easy to use video. If I pull that over here, I can switch between my camera and this video of light filtering through the water. So you're capturing all of these sources, you're ingesting all of this media, and that's the first step of your Wirecast workflow. Bring your sources into the Wirecast document so that you can start to produce them. So let's, moving over, let's move over to the production aspect. What does that mean? Well, when you're streaming, let's say we were live right now, I know that my viewers would be seeing what's in my live window over here on the right-hand side. Now, if I wanna switch it and I wanna show them something else, I make that switch. And that's why if you've ever heard of people talking about TV, they have big switchers. Well, you're switching the shot between different things. And if I wanted to add another piece of media, let's go to the stock media library again because it's a real good resource for grabbing media. Let's get rid of videos and rid of music. I just want a picture, a top view of an office desk. Perfect. I'm going to download that. It'll open up my little download manager so I can see what I'm pulling from the stock media library. And now I have this <clears throat> excuse me, picture that I can send live. And you know, as I send it live, I realize it's cutting off the edges. And now since we're in the production, you know, part of this workflow, I want to make sure that this production actually looks nice. I want to produce a nice show. So I can come back here and I can adjust this picture and make sure it fits the frame. From this preview window, I can change the size and the orientation of my pieces of media and now it's going to fit that whole screen I can come over here and I can add more pieces of content to this individual shot not necessarily my layers down here but this layer in particular so let's add an overlay of text new text perfect put that smack dab in the middle let's come over to my source specific properties and say wirecast exclamation point and then I can move that into the top right corner. And then I'm going to send it live. 
So now I'm starting to produce this show. You know, I have three different shots I can switch between. I'm going to change it over to my water picture. And then now I want to talk to my people again. And, and now I'm live. And you noticed I was doing all of that while I was still talking to you. This can be a one person show. You can have your workflows built up in the layers down at the bottom. And while you're talking to people, be switching shots. And that's the production aspect of Wirecast. Once you bring your content in, and you build out your layers down in the bottom, you can start your show and you can even create new shots and, and new ideas on the fly if you want to. It's really easy to do once you get the hang of it. So that's the production aspect of Wirecast, utilizing the preview window, the live window, the shot layering system down at the bottom, and then over here, the editing window. Now, streaming. Streaming is really what Wirecast takes care of the most. You set things up beforehand and that's Wirecast's bread and butter, making sure that your content gets sent where it wants to be sent to. So if I click this stream button, it's gonna ask me to choose an output destination. And these are just some options that we have. I can come over here and click more and these are all of the ways that you can stream your content. If you want to choose any of these, you can. Uh, there's um, for House of Worship, they've got worship streams or Sunday streams, uh, church streaming. If you want to go to, if you're playing video games, you can go to Twitch. If you want to go to YouTube, you can, or Facebook. Uh, just any destination for live video will be in, in Wirecast. And if it's not, you set up your own RTMP server. That gets a little bit more complicated, but if you wanna to stream to your own website, you can. Let's just say we wanna to go to um, YouTube. You say, okay, YouTube's my destination, perfect. Now it's gonna have you set up your YouTube settings. So in here, you're gonna um, put in your uh, username and your password, you're going to authenticate it. You can use any sort of encoding. I would stick with the YouTube uh, presets if you're just getting into streaming. Wherever it is that you're streaming to, we have some guidelines built into the output settings for you. Once you set that up, you click OK. You come up here, you click Stream. You can record at the same time if you want to. That'll record to somewhere on your computer. And now you're live and you're showing your viewers what they want to see. So you've pulled in all your sources. You've produced your entire live show using all of these different tools, and now you're streaming out live. And that is what Wirecast is and what it can do for you. And the best part about it is that once you've done this, you save your document. You pull in all your sources, you create your shots down at the bottom, you get a little bit of practice, you set out your uh, output settings to where you want to stream to, and then the next time you want to stream, you just open up that saved document, you press record, you press stream, and you're live and streaming. You've built your workflows beforehand and you're ready to go sending out your content to whoever it is that you want it to see. Maybe your, your fans and your followers or your future fans and followers. So take a little bit of time, build out your first couple workflows, get, get comfortable with the interface in Wirecast and start streaming. We hope to see you guys using Wirecast for a really long time. Talk to you soon.